Hey guys, Candace here. Today I'm going to show you how I plan in my cloth and paper planner and then also on the computer on my Google Calendar. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using some dot stickers, some time block stickers, and I'm going to be working in the month of August. So I already got this clip for where I'm going to start planning and let's get started with the first day of the week. We're going to do Monday. So I'm going to fill this out for you guys. Usually when I use my planner, I like to take my pages out. I love an ASMR moment. <laughs> and here is our academic inserts. This is for 2024 to 2025. So I'm going to write my priorities up top. I'm gonna study for chem. Do laundry, cause it's been a while. We're gonna read. So those are the priorities for the day. I'm gonna move on down to the to do, and then all the other things that we will have to do, like homework for English. And then we have class from 9 to 11. And then class from 1. And then I'm going to put two dots there. I'm going to put, all right. And then we have track practice. So I'm going to also be using these throughout the spread. I'm going to go in with these page pens from the June box. And place it here and then I will have a uni marking pen to use that to check off the list and down here I'm going to use a spotlight sticker just to add a little bit of pizzazz and then write a little message to myself and say you got this so here's the uni marking pen that I'll be using to check off the list. All right, so here's what I have so far. I'm gonna add a couple of notes at the bottom. I'm gonna write a goal down here, and that will be to get a 90 on my chem test. Because if you don't set goals, you can't make them. All right, so I'm gonna go in just decorate a little bit. Just underline that. Keep it front of mind. Highlight my priorities. Okay, I'm just gonna put a dot sticker on Monday to mark off what day I'm on. All right, so I put, I'm gonna listen to a lecture group meeting and to call my Nana for her birthday and the priorities and I'm gonna write down my to-dos. So in my to-dos I put listen to the lecture, the group meeting that I had up here, class from 12 to 3 p.m. and then class from 6 to 9 p.m. And then down here I'm just going to give myself something fun to look at. So that was the from the Twisted Line Time Block Stickers. And this one is called Bien Planifier. So the Bien Planifier is French for plan ahead. So good tip there. Thank you. using my Let's Page flags to put it on top of the time block sticker. I'm going to use a little dot. It's a little deco there. And then continuing with Wednesday and then I'll start to put it in my calendar. So moving on to Wednesday. All right, so my priorities, I put study for chem, 
uh, read chapter 9 and 10, homework for bio and homework for Trey. I'm going to put in my to-dos on here. I'm going to go in with my page pens. You guys can make your priorities and to-dos different. It doesn't have to be the same like mine. Just doing a little example. I'm going to highlight these. So I'm keeping that front of mind, making sure I get those done over everything. And do I want to do a little decoration at the bottom? my little decoration with our circle page flag and then I have this is volume three then I have our dot stickers in Angora and then I have the dot stickers and the twisted lines looks pretty good so I'm gonna snap it back in all right put my foot back on Marks my page so I know where to turn, like so. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put this into my Google Calendar and so that can be something that can carry along with me if I'm a student. Um, for myself, I would usually do this on my desk at work. So I would have my schedule filled out for that day and then I would go ahead and transfer it into my computer and put times to them. So I, when I go ahead and schedule on my planner, I usually don't put any times on anything. I just put like what I need to do for that day, write it all out, get a clear picture of my to-dos for the day, and then I go ahead and transfer it into my computer and assign times to those days because I personally like to time block. It's really, really helpful for me to stay on track for my day and make sure that I'm getting everything done that I need to get done. So let's go ahead and transfer our Monday into our Monday in the Google Calendar. All right, so I'll be putting this uh, paper planning from Gotham Paper into our Google Calendar now. So let's get started. So I'm going to be putting the class in first because I already know that's happening. I already know the times for that. So the class is from 9 to 11 and also from 12 to 4. So let me go ahead and add that in. So we have class from 9 to 11. I'm just going to put class. If you want to put whatever class you are doing, you can put that and be specific. And then here, 12 to 4, open class, and then we'll go ahead and put in our study time, so maybe I'm going to study at night, I tend to study better at night anyway, so let's do that. So I'm going to study for two hours, alright, I'm going to make that in a different color. Now, I'm going to put in my homework for English, so we'll do that right before studying. And we'll put homework in a different color too. Alright, then I'm going to move on to track practice. So track practice is from 4 to 5.30. put that in a different color red because track is going to be brutal that day <laughs> and then I'm going to read chapter 8 maybe I'll read in the morning oh I have to wake up early <laughs> hate that but you gotta do what you gotta do I'm going to write the whole thing out so that is also homework so I'm going to put that in green, doing homework bright and early. And then I need to do laundry after all of that. Yeah, so I'm going to start my laundry at after track. And then, you know, change it out 
when I get back from dinner. Put that in a different color. All right. So here we have it. Make sure we have everything in there. We have my study time. We have do laundry. We have read chapter eight right up here in the morning. Homework for English, class at nine to 11, class at 12 to four, and track practice. So it is all here. And then as I check everything off from carrying this with me or from having this at my desk, I usually would check them off along the way with the uni marking pen using this on the page pen, like so like that all right so that is how i would put my planner or my paper planning into my time blocking for the day just to keep track of it i know i suffer from a little adhd so it's nice to have like some reminders here and there popping up on the screen and when to change my task and also having this to check off manually is just the icing on the cake because it's just nice to check stuff off every day and see what you are doing and how you're progressing throughout your planner. So yeah, that is my tips to you guys. All right guys, thank you so much for joining us today with our planning digitally and in our cloth and paper planner. We hope you enjoyed this. Let us know what kind of videos you wanna see below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.